you'll see that we are signed in through Lincoln Land Community College. And what Oxford Reference contains is a series of reference resources that were formerly in print. We now just have online access to them. So if you click on the subject drop down, it'll show you all the variety of topics that are covered in this collection. So we have everything from medicine and health, music, history, archaeology. Uh, it's a wonderful collection of Oxford resources, Oxford being one of the uh, key publishers of quality resources in reference. If you click on the reference type drop down, you'll see that there are a variety of overview pages or subject references, timelines, quotations, and, and dictionaries. So what you can do when you go to search is just use the search box near the top. I'm going to type in a topic like, uh, let's pick something general like poverty. And it will run a search through all of the different reference resources in this particular online collection. Okay, so we looks like it took a little while because it's searching through and it found 10,867 entries for the word poverty. Clearly that could be narrowed down a little bit. So if we want to narrow our search terms, you'll see this little uh, light blue area over here. We can narrow by reference type, dictionaries or subject references, uh, timelines, etc. The difference between a dictionary and a reference source, a dictionary will, will be a very short entry, whereas a subject reference will be a longer entry from a subject encyclopedia. An example of that would be to the right in our very first list of results. I see poverty from an Oxford companion to the Romantic Age. That is a 6,179 word long entry. It's a very long entry. The very next entry is from a dictionary of epidemiology, and its length is only 59 words. So you're really interested in those subject reference sources. So that will narrow down your results a little bit. You'll also see you can add a row to your search, and you can add another term, and then update your search, and it will narrow down your results. If I want to take a look at this particular entry for poverty in this encyclopedia or this companion to the Romantic Age, I will click on the title and it will take me into the actual entry itself. In this case, I'm going to quickly scroll through to give you a sense of how long this entry is. It has footmarks and highlighted links to other resources. And as you get down to the bottom, you'll see the author. In this case, this is Sarah Lloyd wrote this particular entry for this encyclopedia or this companion. All the information you need to cite the source is here in this light blue box at the top of the page. I am allowed to print, save, and I can also email this result to my LinkedIn email. On the left in this blue area as well, you'll see uh, more on this topic. I can see other quick results. So if I'm really interested, not in the uh, romantic age, but more in a sociological uh, standpoint, I can very quickly say, oh, I hit the wrong entry. I want to go to this dictionary of sociology or this encyclopedia of social work, and it will take me to a new result. If I go back to my original list of results, if I scroll down a little bit more, you'll see it past the dictionaries, I have an entry for um, poverty in Australian politics, uh, dictionary of sociology again. So there's lots of different options available to you in this collection. What you'll see sometimes is a red lock, like in this one from the Encyclopedia of Social Work. And then in other times, you'll see a green open lock. That means that some of these you have access to, some of them you don't. The ones that you don't, you can always contact the library to see if you can interlibrary loan that particular encyclopedia entry. If you have any questions about how to search the Oxford Reference Collection, please don't hesitate to reach out to your Lincoln Land Community College librarian. We're always happy to help. Take care.